In this lesson, we're going to look at how to make a post request with JavaScript. So in order to make any type of network request with JavaScript, we're going to need some kind of tool to actually send the request from our code. And it might be that you've got access to something like jQuery within your code base. Well, obviously that's becoming a bit more uncommon now. Or you might be able to incorporate another tool such as Axios within your project so that you can actually send those network requests. But for this example, we're going to stick to using the Fetch API which should be available by default in most modern browsers. So in order to send a get request with fetch, we simply put the URL that we want to send the request to our fetch function. And with the resulting promise that we get, we can convert the data to a JavaScript object by calling the JSON function. And then we can just log the result to the console. So here you can see we've sent a GET request to the GitHub API to receive some data and we can confirm that in our network tab of our developer tools by clicking on the headers tab and we can see the request method is GET. So in order to send a POST request with fetch we simply pass in some options after the URL strings provided in the fetch function. So I'm just going to send a second request but I'm going to send it to a local script that I've got running which accepts post data and then just repeats it back in the response to the user. So by sending another fetch request to my local script and setting the method to post in the options object, which is the second argument to the fetch function, you can see in our network tab, you can see that this time the request method of the network request is post. But of course we didn't send any data and that's half the point with a post request is to actually send some data to the backend server and you can see the script has just responded with a message saying that there's no body sent. And so if we repeat that same network request but this time in our options pass another property called body this will be the post data that's sent to the backend script and should then just be repeated back to us. So that quite simply is how you send post requests with the fetch API. In reality, the body would probably be a JavaScript object that's been stringified using the json.stringify function, and then the backend script will parse that as a JavaScript object and do whatever processing it needs to do on the backend.